Welcome to our second episode of the User Security Governance Feature Unboxing Series. In this lesson, I will demonstrate the Role Audit Trail feature, which is part of the User Security Governance Framework. The Role Audit Trail is essential for maintaining security and compliance within ERB systems, as it provides a detailed log of role changes, helping to identify unauthorized access and ensure proper user management. If you have not watched the first episode of the user security governance, I recommend to watch that episode and come back to this episode. As explained in the first episode, user security governance is available from 1043 version as a preview. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the feature management and enable it. The feature name is user security governance. These are the new features or I would say menu items will be available under the security governance form and we will particularly talk about this feature called role audit trail. This role audit trail helps to keep track of any changes in user security role. Let's see how it works. If I go to users, see if I click on Cassie and you will see there is a new option called role audit trail. If I click on it, you will see nothing here because any changes in this user before enabling this feature will not be available. So what I will do, I will assign a new role, which is accounting manager. And I will remove the accounting or employee role from this user. Now let's see, you will notice that we have changed, like we have added the role accounting manager to this user, it will come as add. And we have removed this role from the user employee so it will it will come as remove and interestingly who has removed who has taken the action and when that action was taken everything will come as an audit trail we will talk about this internal organization and organizational number to understand internal organization and organization number we will go back to the user we will select any role and we will click on assign organizations here we will assign any organization or one organization to this role by clicking on grant access to a specific organization individually. We will select Ondoso Consulting and we will click on grant. Now we will save it. We will go back and we will check the role audit trial. Now we will notice under the internal organization, the Ondoso Consulting legal entity name is coming. And under the organization number, the legal entity number is coming. That means it is not only addition or remo removal of role, it also can bring the data of assignment of any legal entity under any role. Now we will talk about this role audit trial report. If you click on it, it will be the same thing, like each and every column is same. However, this form is bringing all the user's data in one form. So we have user specific role audit trail from the users from and we have a specific form called role audit trail which brings all the data for all the users in my opinion this is a good and significant change i have seen this requirement from many audit organizations and there was no straightforward way to produce this audit trail report for role 